on my fire steel there's this little mark that I think has been on here since I've had it but in looking at some pictures online some users are reporting that after just sitting in storage there are fire steels that didn't have these will get them and over time will essentially just rust away to nothing uh, I've seen a discussion that uh, basically says that as this material is exposed to air it um, almost burns very very slowly you know rusts away rust is a exothermic reaction and scraping the fire steel um, forces this pyrophoric material to uh, spontaneously combust in air uh, that pyrophoric means material that combusts uh, just with exposure to air and as soon as you stri strike it there's a layer of oxidation that forms that keeps you know the ferro rod from combusting itself but uh, I was I do a lot of kayaking and uh, carry fire steels with me and wanted a way to try and maintain the integrity of my fire steel so it doesn't um, kind of disintegrate on me and what I came up with is a little piece of uh, rubber tubing and I've made an electrical tape cap and it just fits over the end and I try and use something the same inner diameter tubing as the outer diameter of the fire steel and I try and when I scrape my fire steel start just down from the top I, I won't go all the way up here I'll, I'll go down a little bit that way I leave some of the original girth that way when I put this on that seal will always be as tight as it can be I mean it's not super tight but you know it'll keep moisture and you know keep airflow off of it so hopefully it'll protect it a little bit so you can get tubing at any hardware store this is a uh, how I'm storing all my fire steels now um, hope that helps if uh, you've had the same issue with uh, pitting in your in your fire steels